I'm Professor Nigel Titchener Hooker, Head of Department at the University College London Department of Biochemical Engineering. Lots of people have heard of chemical engineering, but surprisingly few people know about biochemical engineering. So biochemical engineering is all about the translation of exciting life science discoveries through into commercially useful drugs and end products for people to actually use. Take an example, things like a vaccine. We've heard about uh, the problems of uh, endemic flu and so forth. How does that actually vaccinate whole populations? Well, behind that question actually lies the discipline of biochemical engineering, translating the scientific discoveries through into vaccines for mass populations to benefit from. A number of uh, universities will offer courses which have an element of biotechnology or biochemical engineering as part of a, a broader chemical engineering program, but we're unique in the fact that we offer biochemical engineering as a distinct entity in its own right, right from the be uh, beginning of the course all the way through to the end point after a three or a four year uh, program. Indeed, we have what's known as a pilot plant facility. It's cost about, about 35 million pounds to actually establish it and that's unique because it enables us to take the small scale discoveries and to translate those to industrial scale processes and that's really important because I think it's uh, crucial for our candidates to see how those uh, the principles that we teach in our lectures actually get translated through into uh, real pr process technologies. I like to think it's a friendly department, I and mean, uh, we of course we'd say that, wouldn't we? But we achieve that through having relatively small groups. Our uh, intake is limited to around 45 students a year, small tutor groups, and a lot of emphasis of contact between the staff and the students and working together uh, with the students in small class groups and tutorials. So it's a very cosmopolitan environment, as you'd expect in any uh, London university. But of course, being at University College London, one has the capacity to work with students from the humanities and laws uh, and, and arts. So one, the, our engineering candidates mix it with a, a much broader spectrum of candidates than one would perhaps in a, say, a science and technology university. All entry to University College London is competitive and it's highly competitive in our discipline as well. We want only the very best and most capable candidates who've studied the, uh, the, the necessary life science and science uh, disciplines and are numerate as well to be able to conduct the, the studies that are involved in our discipline.